Hey guys, I recently started experimenting with alternate playstyles, and I found the strategy that some sweaty people like to use when they want to get some massive damage off while potentially getting them out. If you're new to the game and don't know what I'm talking about, I'm referring to the ledge spam mechanic. Certain weapons have the ability to change the momentum of their jump while in midair, and doing so allows these weapons to loop aerial attacks as long as the monster's positioning allows it. I will go over all the weapons that can abuse this mechanic, as well as my thoughts on the loop in terms of its viability. Starting off, we have the Greatsword. The Greatsword's uncharged attack cannot change your momentum, but the charged aerial swing can reverse your direction back onto the ledge, as well as giving you a level 1 charge with maximum focus. Your character will also automatically do the swing upon landing, so there is no need to worry about timing the swing. Each aerial hit does a hefty chunk of damage, so you can use the skill without feeling too bad that you're not doing any TCS 3s. In terms of spam ability, it is completely doable, but it is slightly slow, and you may need a few tries to get the muscle memory to get into the groove. Moving on to the next weapon is the hammer. The hammer, similar to the greatsword, allows players to turn their momentum while using their charge swing. You can see from this demonstration here that one thing is very clear. I suck at using the hammer. All in all, the damage is very good, but the distance that your character jumps makes the follow-up jumps a little bit slow, unless you are very good at positioning the spam. I'd say, if you can get the hang of it, then it becomes a great tool to add to your arsenal. The next weapon is the gun lance. It has a few options coming off the ledge but the overhead swing is able to reverse your momentum back onto the ledge while doing a moderate amount of damage in the process. In addition, if you are out of shells, the attack will also reload all your shells. The attack can also be followed up with either a full burst or a slap or a worm state cannon, giving this ledge spam a lot of options and utility. This gets pushed over the edge by the fact that the reversed momentum doesn't take you too far from the ledge making the loop very fast. Personally, my favorite to use amongst all the available ledge spams. Following the gun lance is the insect glaive. The insect glaive has a large number of options while airborne. Therefore, you would naturally think that you have a large number of very good ledge spams stemming from your aerial options from the ledge. However, I was disappointed that there was only one spam that was viable. If you want, you can count the Clutch Claw as another spam, but once you land the claw, you're locked onto the clog attacks. At least it looks cool. Here's the main issue I have with the spam. Insect waves that have their stickers fully collected lose this ability to abuse the ledge as your moveset changes. At least you get to get mounts without the need for a ledge with insect wave, so nothing really lost there. Last of all are the bow guns. Since their mechanics work exactly the same way, I'm going to save everyone the time and condense them into one part, rather than milking the non-existent ad revenue and talking about them separately. When you shoot any ammunition while in the air, you'll be bounced back slightly, without any penalty for recoil. This is an absolutely insane tech for bowgun players to know about, as they can repeatedly shoot out high recoil attacks by hopping off the ledge before each shot. Keep in mind that you are still constrained by your magazine size, so you will still need to reload. Thankfully, the ledge attack automatically becomes a melee attack if you are out of ammo, and it can reload your bowgun after a brief pause, allowing you to resume your shenanigans. At first, I was completely blown away, and this would have been my favorite spam by far, if not for the fact the spam does not work for wyvern ammo, cluster ammo, and any rapid fire ammo for light bow guns. That's all the weapons that have a ledge spam. Some weapons fall just slightly short of the ledge when using a momentum cancelling attack, so you can't really ledge spam with it. And the lance... can't really count that charge as a ledge spam. I hope I was able to teach everyone a bit more about the game and added another tool to your kit that you can try out for your hunts. If you have a preferred ledge spam setup, feel free to drop them into the comments below for your fellow hunters. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.